By now, everyone has heard that President Biden and Donald Trump have agreed to debate twice before the November election. Donald Trump has been acting like this is a huge win for him, but a CNN reporter got the inside scoop on what the Trump campaign is really feeling. I'll show you exactly what she said in a moment. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. This morning, President Biden surprised everyone by releasing a video in which he challenged Donald Trump to two debates. Joe Biden brought the heat with this video and even clowned on Trump's criminal trial. This is fantastic. Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. And since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. So let's pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. Not only did Donald Trump quickly accept the offer from Joe Biden, but he accepted all of Joe Biden's conditions for the debates with no pushback. These demands included cutting off a speaker's mic when their time runs out, holding the debate in a studio without an audience, no third party candidates like RFK Jr., and even restricting the networks that can host the debates. President Biden wasn't going to have a repeat of what happened in 2020, where Donald Trump was out of control during the debates. Though, I think Biden put Trump in his place with this fantastic line during the first debate. Vote now. You pack the Make court? sure you, in fact, let people know he doesn't you're want to a senator. The I'm not going to answer the question. Why because, would you answer that question? Because the you question want to put is, a lot of the new question Supreme is, Court justice, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, your, man. Listen, who is your... After accepting all of Biden's demands for the debates, Trump tried to project strength by running his mouth in some interviews. Listen to this tough guy pretend like he's in the driver's seat. President Biden just issued you a debate challenge for June and September with the Veeps talking in July. Do you accept? Oh, absolutely. I've been trying to get, you know, he's issuing it. I wonder whether or not he shows up because, you know, he also challenged me to golf. So I'm a very good golfer. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. He said, I'll give him three aside, but he knows he'll never play. But CNN's national correspondent, Kristen Holmes, got the inside scoop on what the Trump campaign was really thinking. Listen to this. Talking to Trump's senior advisors and those in his orbit, they're a little bit irked right now. The fact that Joe Biden somehow took over the debate narrative, despite the fact that Donald Trump has been really using this as a narrative at all of his campaign rallies. He's been up on stage with an empty podium next to him. No one there saying, come debate me. He's often said, I will debate anywhere, anytime. This has been kind of a rallying cry for Donald Trump and for some of his top advisors. Now, what we saw today was Joe Biden really taking control of the narrative. And now <laughs> Donald Trump trying to take it back. So after we saw this announcement from Biden, after Donald Trump had accepted these two debates, he then got on Truth Socials to say he was going to accept a third debate at Fox uh, on October 2nd. So this is Truth Social here. Well, the Biden campaign is saying, well, you already agreed to our terms. That's not happening. They wrote, ex the actual statement was, President Biden made his terms clear for two one-on-one -on -one debates and Donald Trump accepted those terms. No more games, no more chaos, no more debate about debates. We'll see Donald Trump on June 27th in Atlanta if he shows up. I love that the Biden team said no way to Donald Trump's pathetic attempt to set up a third debate on favorable territory at Fox News. Joe Biden came out strong this morning with his challenge to Donald Trump. He completely took over the debate narrative and boxed Trump into a corner. If Trump tried to negotiate the terms of the debates, he would look weak because he has been saying for weeks that he would debate President Biden under any conditions. It's time for Crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the United States, and I to debate. We have to talk about what he's doing and where we're going. We owe it to our country. We owe it to all Americans. Anytime, anywhere, any place. Donald Trump must have thought for sure that Biden would not debate him. Well. He got called on his bluff and backed into a corner where he had to say yes immediately or he would look foolish. Well played by President Biden. I'm fired up for the June debate to happen because too many people are tuned out of this election and that is leading to Donald Trump doing better in the polls than he should be doing. I'm confident that Joe Biden will do great in these debates because he did a fantastic job in the 2020 debates. Notice how you never hear anyone on the right talking about those 2020 debates? That's because Biden did well and they had nothing to cry about. 
Just like Biden's poll numbers went up after his recent State of the Union, people tuning into the debates will help remove any doubts they have about him. President Biden has a firm understanding of all the complicated issues our country faces, and his vision for the future is exciting. Joe Biden is going to embarrass Trump on that stage in June, and I'm so ready for it.